right, welcome back to Live Demon Programming and Compiler Design. Uh, I had to do a little bit of refactoring here, and I did it off screen. Uh, it wasn't that big a deal. A uh, couple of things. First of all, these accept method overrides on all of these uh, that are based on this uh, visitable interface had to be moved into a separate CPP file. And the reason for that is, is they have to have access to the visitor.h file that we created here, access to these, but you see the visitor needs access to the AST to know what these types are. The AST, on the other hand, doesn't need to know very much about them. Uh, it only needs to know that there exists a class uh, which we defined somewhere here. Uh, anyway, on these visit functions, it only needs to know there's a visitor class. Oh, and that's defined in visitable. So it just needs to know that a class exists to create this pointer. It doesn't need to know any details about it. But the CPP file needs to know the details because it has to call it. And this is the way this works. Each of these accept methods calls visitor visit this which is the type here uh oh and also for this template type i had to break it out for the different possible types that it could be that we're using which is double uh bool uh character uh double int and string these are called template specializations and so it's pre-built basically and it says we're going to call this uh function for this particular one on the visitor and so on the visitor we have to actually do the same thing for that uh, uh, literal wherever it is here did we do it binary preliminary trinary we didn't do literal yet we've got to have that so we need all those literals uh, the visitor uh, uh, will will have to add those in now we can take them straight from here these uh, that'll work but we need to change it to visit and put the proper thing in no that won't work we'll come back to that shortly uh, here on visitor uh, they yeah we didn't do that one did we let's go take a look at it here FNG literal so we'll have to compose that I, I might do that off screen but it is working now uh, it builds here it is and our thing found the two let statements and that's all we did in pretty print for the moment was print out when we got a let statement and it's not delving below that so we don't know and yeah we got to do that uh that value well we'll knock that out real quick we'll we'll just do it um so we've got to have a function uh for each of these so in here we're calling each of these uh for each of these types bool character uh double int and string uh we're calling visit this so we need it to take this type uh, for each of those bool character double int and string so what we can do is go over here to visitor.h and we need to create those so uh, let's do this well let's paste that first and then let's grab one two bool character <laughs> I can't remember what they are um, darn it uh, it's going to be bool character double int and string. Okay. Remember that bool character double int and string. Bool character double int and string. So here's our bool. And we want to put it there, 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 and there. And this is going to be character, bool character double int 
add standard string. And then we'll grab all these and go over here to our pretty print.h and put those in and change these to this for the moment. I don't actually need all these semicolons at the ends of these. do need this here, 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 and here. And we'll build it, make sure it all works up. Didn't like something too many types cleared visit. two or more data types in declaration of visit. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we run it. And it does the let and let. Now we've got our pretty print. So what do we want to do here on the pretty print is, for instance, a let statement let's take a look at that one first because we know that a let statement has a number of things uh, so we're gonna put out we'll put out the word let but we're not gonna do an end L uh, we have to go through that parameter list so we have to visit each of those parameters so node pointer and we don't have any so what we've got to do is go back here and take a look at our let statement. And we didn't ever put in any getters or setters for this. So we could go um we want to do standard string get ident return underscore ident standard uh, no you know, param parameter list pointer get params return underscore params and FNG node list pointer underscore pointer get nodes return underscore nodes. All right. So now over here in our pretty print, we can we can do something like this. We can go. Uh, we want to print out the ident as well, so we can go node pointer get ident and then put a space and then we can go for auto param colon get params what do we want to do with each of those We've got to dereference this. What we want to do with each of those is visit them with our visitor. So what we're going to do is call param pointer accept. Darn it. <laughs> accept this and just pass the visitor into it. So that's going to drive it to each of the parameters, which is going to pop up and fire this one up here for a parameter. So for a parameter, what do we want to do? We'll walk through this a step at a time. Uh, we can get the type, we can get the ident and the and the type, and that's what we uh, that's what we need. So we can go uh, 
the standard C out from uh, node pointer get ident and a space. And then we can go node pointer get type but we want to do our type to string get type and I think we want to put a colon in between here and end it with a space and actually we should wrap these with a parentheses because we've got a type in there and so let's put a parentheses in here and a space so now we've got parameters and now a let statement has braces around it and for, for now I'm not going to indent but we'll set up indenting see how we're doing here oh we're 11 minutes in we're okay uh, we'll set up indenting we'll we'll keep track of the indent we can do that like this we can come up here and just have uh, int uh, underscore indent equals zero and that'll be good we'll do uh, int uh, uh, indent ink equals four. Actually, we'll just go ahead and do that now. Uh, and we'll make a little function here, a simple one, uh, a void function uh, that we'll, uh, we'll call uh, indent And it'll go for int i equals zero. I is less than underscore indent i plus plus. I will just do standard c out from one space. So now we're going to do a uh, standard C out from, we want an open brace and then a new line. Now we're in this open brace. What we want to do is fire, uh, we want to go underscore indent. That'll be the indent function. Let's go void. Let's go uh, uh, push indent. We'll go underscore indent uh, underscore indent plus equals underscore indent ink. We're going to go void pop indent this will move us back. We'll go underscore indent minus equals underscore indent ink. That way we can do this. So we're here. We'll go push indent. Then we'll go um, <coughs> For auto <coughs> statements colon node pointer get nodes and this has to be dereferenced and then we'll that's not statements it's statement 
and we'll say that we want to do a statement pointer visit this and then we want to pop indent Visit this. Get nodes. If a node list, when your node statement, STMT pointer accept this. There we go. Then we want to do a uh, standard see out from standard indel we're going to pop indent we want to call indent in case we're inside somewhere and then standard see out from a close brace from standard phone call indel that should print something out. Let's see what it does. Maybe it does it without errors. Of course not. Why would it do it without errors? What have we done wrong here? Man, we got a, a bunch of warnings and notes. Let's make sure I don't miss the end of it here and keep going. There's the end of it. Okay, it's operator on O stream. Oh, silliness. And we, we're not printing out anything, but we got let compute and we got a segmentation fault. Mm, interesting, interesting that we got a segmentation fault. So we only want to do this if same with this we're going to go if node pointer get parameters does not equal null pointer and here the same thing if node pointer get nodes does not equal null pointer and do that there we go and it even uh, tried to print it it didn't print it inside it didn't indent it oh because when we start off here I want to call indent There, and it even indented it. <laughs> it indented the nested let statement. So now we can build this pretty print out to print these other things, and I think we will carry that on. Or maybe I'll do this offline, and we'll do it in the next uh, in the next video. We'll take a look at uh, at how all of this works. Uh, we'll see. Uh, or maybe I'll just continue to detail it out. But basically, all I'm doing is showing that. You know, my structure is correct. I can follow through this stuff and find these things <clears throat> and put them in place. If we do our uh, parameters, um, what the heck is this function call over? Oh, that's way out here. That was confusing me. Okay, if we do uh, identifiers, um, 
this function call. We don't need that. Uh, what am I looking for? Binary expression, trinary expression. We've got our literals. Uh, so yeah, we can just print these uh, values out uh, in a very similar fashion and uh, and pretty print this whole program out and hopefully it'll reproduce the program exactly as we wanted it. We'll have confirmation that our uh, uh, structure is correct <clears throat> and that it's building it correctly. So anyway, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.